Days after one city leader resigned and another retired, only on CBS 11, we are learning what's really behind the story here. It involves complaints about the Ennis Police Department, some of which come from one of the top prosecutors in North Texas. Andrea Lucia, live with that tonight in Ennis for us. Andrea? Now, the Ellis County District Attorney says for a while, cases from the Ennis Police Department were being placed on hold. That means no trials, no pleas. Several were even dismissed, ones that relied solely on an officer's testimony. And we have learned it is because prosecutors lost confidence in the department's competence and credibility. That was a horrible, scary crime. Ellis County DA Patrick Wilson says the case of aggravated robbery at this now closed Chipotle in Ennis crossed his desk last year. Masked gunmen came in the back door and violently robbed the place and pistol whipped uh, one of the employees. Ennis police, after two years, had finally identified suspects, but the DA says prosecutors discovered problems with the evidence. It's my office's belief in this case that this case cannot be prosecuted because of the uh, poor police work. It was that bad? Absolutely. A grand jury examining the case turned its attention from the accused robbers to the police department's actions, taking the unusual step of requesting to extend its term. In my entire career, I'd never seen this before. An independent report by special prosecutors later found no Ennis police officer could credibly explain who discovered several key pieces of evidence in the case. We need to know specifically where were they found, who gathered them, who put them in a pile for the photograph. Those questions couldn't be answered. The investigation found a crime scene officer didn't have enough evidence markers, so he simply used the few available to him. Even more surprising to prosecutors was an absence of detail about an exchange of gunfire with suspects. There were officers on scene who wrote reports, and if you read their reports, you would have no idea that a shooting took place that night. None. Is that extraordinary? It's shocking and appalling in extraordinary, to say the least. The city manager and police chief both stepped down on a Friday. In a statement, the mayor cited recent concerns regarding the operation and oversight of our police department. The DA said that he is hopeful the changes in leadership will turn things around. And by the way, the suspects in that Chipotle robbery are now behind bars in Dallas County for similar crimes there. Reporting live in Ennis, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you so much.